before this video starts, I want to make a quick announcement. In one of my future videos, I'm going to be doing an exciting collaboration with someone. So make sure you like this video if you would like that to happen. And don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for my upcoming videos. Now back to the video. Do you want to know what the sun is? Well, if you do, you're in the right place. I'm David, welcome to Astrofocus, where we explore the universe in great detail. The Sun is a yellow dwarf star, and without it, no life would have started on Earth. The Sun sits in the middle of our solar system, and gravitationally pulls every object from a grain of dust to the planet Jupiter around it. The Sun has this strong gravity because of its mass, because an object with twice as much mass will have a gravitational pull twice as stronger than other objects, and because of this, our Sun has this gravitational pull, 28 times stronger than the Earth's pull, that pulls everything in orbit around the Sun. The Sun formed 4.6 billion years ago from the gravitational collapse of matter within a region of a large molecular cloud, which is basically a collection of dust and gas. The gas is consisting mostly of hydrogen and helium. The gravitational collapse that created our Sun would have been triggered by a shockwave produced by a nearby supernova which is basically the explosion of a star when it dies. When this happened, most of this matter collected in the centre, forming the Sun, with the rest of the matter flattened into a disk, which then became our solar system. The Sun is extremely big, with a diameter of 1.3914 kilometres. Here's a size comparison between the planets in our solar system and the Sun. Its diameter is about 109 times that of Earth, and its mass is about 330,000 times that of Earth taking up for about 99.86% of the total mass of the solar system. It's so big that you could fit over 1 million Earths inside the Sun and still have space left over. The Sun consists of seven main layers. These layers are split into two groups, the inner layers and the outer layers. The inner layers are the core, radioactive zone and the convection zone. The outer layers are the photosphere, the chromosphere, the transition region and the corona. The core is the hottest part of the Sun, with temperatures of 15 million degrees Celsius. The core is 34% of the Sun's mass and generates 99% of the fusion power of the Sun. Luminosity is the brightness of an object in space, but we're talking about the luminosity of stars. In the early 20th century, astronomers realised that the mass of a star is related to its luminosity. Stars 10 times as massive as the Sun shine more than a thousand times as much. Then the astronomers realised that the mass and luminosity of a star determines the colour of the star. The biggest stars are much hotter and have a bluish colour, whereas smaller stars are cooler and have a reddish colour. The sun falls in the middle of the spectrum, having a more yellowish appearance. The lifetime of a main sequence star depends on how enormous it is, because a star with more mass may contain more hydrogen, but it burns through quicker due to higher core temperatures caused by larger gravitational forces. The Sun has an estimated lifetime of 10 billion years, but a star with 10 times the size will only last 20 million years. Another example could be a red dwarf, which is about half the size of the Sun, which, because of its size, is estimated to have a lifetime from 80 to 100 billion years, which is much longer than the current age of the universe. Main sequence stars, including the Sun, make up about 90% of all stars in the universe. These stars' mass can range from a tenth of the sun's mass to, to 200 times the sun's mass. Main sequence stars fuse hydrogen atoms to create helium atoms in their cores. This releases a massive amount of energy that is released in the form of radiation. But once the sun has run out of hydrogen, it will start to expand, engulfing Mercury, Venus and possibly Earth. As it expands, it cools, as there is no longer creating heat through nuclear fusion and it also starts to glow red. The Sun is now known as a red giant. The mass of the star then determines what path it will then take. I hope by the time the Sun engulfs Earth, the human race is colonised in a different solar system. And I hope you now hope that too. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.